bitches. Sorry, I had to. I had to. It's a thing. If you haven't seen the video on YouTube, you know, uh, DJ go post it on a Twitter or something because it's great. Um, <laughs> anyway, we are back with our long-awaited return of the six-pack that we've been trying to make return for a while now, and it just, stuff comes up, then wait. We are starting uh, the first episode of our new six-pack series. We're going to do a four-part series starting tonight with uh, our top six. Well, uh we're splitting it up into three and three now, new format. So we're doing our top three favorite superstars from the golden era and our top three, like, not necessarily worst, but least favorite uh, superstars from the golden era, which would be 1982 to 93. Uh, and then the next one will be the uh, new generation, which was 93 to 97. But, uh, and we're also, and DJ doesn't like this, but this, these are the rules. We get two honorable mentions for each side. That's it. Just two. Not three. Just two. That's it. We're cracking down. He's cracking down. And DJ just posted something. I mean, but, oh, I don't know. But, um, so let's just get, get right on into it with uh, with our honorable mentions. Uh, for my best honorable mentions, my favorites, um, I put Big Boss Man uh, as my first honorable mention uh, because I loved his early 90s run a lot more than any of his other runs in WWE, um, even, you know, his Attitude Era run, I just thought it was kind of boring compared to his, like, early 90s run. Um, I just thought his character was better. Um, he had better feud. Um, and my second honorable mention for uh, my favorites is going to be Jake the Snake, um, one of the greatest promo men in WWE history, um, I love his promos. Uh, his in-ring work is good too, but I, for me, I liked his promos the, the most. Um, just the way he would deliver them was always great. Um, <clears throat> DJ, your your top two, your two honorable mentions, two for the best, two of them. You get two. <laughs> You know, this is difficult for me because I, st even though you told me I had two, I still wrote down three. <laughs> so, well, you're gonna have to pick so, two of them. So, um, I'm gonna go with Ravishing Rick Rude because I love this man. This man got like hips of gold, and like I, I try to try to recreate his little hip dance all the time, and I can't do it. So. I, I might as well stop, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to go with uh, It's Not Fair to Flair. Not Bobby Heenan, but Ric Flair. Um, I mean, and I know it's weird that he's in my honorable mentions, but this is more of a favorite type thing. So not not that Ric Flair wasn't one of my favorites, but I had people I just loved more than him. Um, and Ric Flair was one of those guys who was my mom's favorite. So it just kind of trickled down to me. And, uh, like, I mean, you can't say anything wrong about Ric Flair. Like, you just can't. And it's not fair to Flair, man. It's just not. It's never fair to Flair. You know? You're right. You're right. Uh, Amy, two honorable mentions for your favorites. If you have, huh? if you have honorable yeah. mentions. If you, you know. You can put me in there. I was born around this time. You know, I. No, well, you weren't. I, I was born in 87. It right. goes to eight. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it goes to 93. New generation started in 93. I know. I fell asleep. Sorry. Somebody over there took 20 years. Yeah, D. <laughs> oh, favorites. Mm, I'd have to go with. Yokozuna, 
Because, I mean, he's just awesome. I think my favorites have a theme because my other one is Big Van Vader. It's time. Can't go wrong. That man can do a freaking moonsault. He is huge. <laughs> huge. But no, those are my two favorites. I always found him interesting and always love to cheer for him. And they had talent. Bonus. All right. Uh, DJ. I'm a... Actually, no, I'm not going to start with you. I'm a... No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to start with my. I'm going to continue with myself because I'm I'm the best. And wow, I didn't make be selfish. It. What be a selfish host? Years. Uh, moving over to our least favorite honorable mentions. Um, my first honorable mention for least favorite, and then we'll go into the actual lists. But. Uh, my least favorite, uh, one of my honorable mentions for least favorite is Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, whatever you want to call him. I just don't like him. He just bored me. And his Who? promos were just terrible. Just Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, oh. Sid, Sid. Sorry, my audio cut out. Also, he caused trauma in my life when... He broke his leg, and I can still see that visual in my mind. Like, uh, my second honorable mention for least favorite, and I'm going to get hate for this. It's not him. It's WWE's booking of him. So go with that. Dusty Rhodes. I love Dusty. I just love the things they did to that man see, in WWE. See. Oh. You you said golden age of wrestling, correct? Am I wrong? Oh, eh. About to say that timeline he wasn't always in WWE, so No. No, we're we're sticking with double double E. Yeah. Let me stop falling asleep on us. Stop it. Wake up. I'm awake. Shut <laughs> up. All right. DJ, honorable mentions for the, 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 the least favorite. This should be easier for you. You got to no. hate somebody. Actually, it's, it's, it, this wasn't as easy. I actually just came up with, with two just now. Um, one is Lex Luger. I just felt like he was kind of overrated. Um, and another one was Zeus because it was <laughs> stupid and dumb and stupid and dumb. Stop it. Oh, buddy. Get off. I get there was a movie and stuff. <laughs> Waste. And he had multiple runs in WWE too, which is great. Um. Anyway, Amy, honorable mentions for your worst, least favorite. Mankind. His really early stuff is horrible. I still don't like the man. What? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? No, he just... I, I don't I like him. No, I just don't like him. I thought it was a this stupid... Man, this man idea had four character. characters that made all four of them work. I don't agree. They worked for some, but they didn't work for me. I found there were more people that were talented and everything else. I like his comedy or his uh, reality show. But I never liked his character. I still don't like his I mean, character. In I the mean, 80s, were there a lot of talent? Talent is in wrestling? Yeah, there's plenty of it. Big difference. I don't, I just don't like him. I didn't think he had I the talent. The I don't. Hulk Hogan was the top guy. Ew. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Bye. I love Hogan. Wrong, but I mean, he wasn't the greatest wrestler of all time. Oh, you just got a bye, Felicia. You just oh, <laughs> oh. I mean, do you have another honorable mention, or do we do, do we need to move on no. from the bye, Felicia? Okay. No, I only had one. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess we're gonna go back and forth uh, to least and best or favorite and worst, whatever. So, my number three for my favorites 
and this was hard to, to put these in, in, in order, but my number three on my favorite side is going to be Ultimate Warrior. Uh, I love Warrior, not not his later stuff, because that match against Triple H was terrible. Oh, so bad. Um, but yeah, he was uh, okay in ring. Again, wasn't the best. But his character was good. You know, his promos, you had no idea what he was ever saying. But I didn't care. Because he could talk about a toaster and make it sound epic and amazing. And I would still be confused. But I would love it. DJ, number three, favorite. All right. Um, number three, I, I did a tie because I like to cheat. Um <laughs> <laughs> um, one man gang, because I just love this man. Uh, well, Slash or King, the African Dream. You know. I guess the three way tie technically. I mean, he's obviously not the same person. Um, and you know, like, like Casey said, Ultimate Warrior, because I love I love Ultimate Warrior. Um, like, I think we got to remember that a lot of these guys weren't necessarily great as far as like in ring, but we're also looking at one of the most talented rosters we've ever seen in WWE right now. Just because they're not being used correctly doesn't mean they don't have talent. Plus, you got to love Warrior. Man, I love that man. And his entrance is so so hype. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it is. Amy, the number three of your favorites. Woo! Okay, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Is this it? is a new day. The who, right? The who? <laughs> Woo! Charlotte Flair. I don't, I don't think she. Wait. Uh, Becky. No. Ric Flair. That was, that was going to be my next. You gotta love the Nature Boy. Okay. No. Nature Boy was one of the few that I actually remember wrestling and going back and watching those matches. In that era, grew up with him. Some other ones, but they are saved for the other eras. They end up having to be in like almost all of these. But gotta love Rick. Always made every promo. Like it'd be similar to the last one, but I'll be damned if it wasn't great and just be <laughs> made you laugh. Put, gave it everything he had in the ring. Though he had some bad luck with the. Uh, you know, all those marriages and stuff, but thought he did a good job in the ring. Now we shall insert Justin's favorite. No. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> the, 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 joke was the silence because he wouldn't have a favorite because he hates his era. That's true. That's true. Remember when we tried to do uh, Manias from this era? And he was like, I, I hate this era. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> this was the worst match on the card. Match of the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving over to our worst favorite, number three. Number worst three favorite? On my, my least favorite, I least should Least favorite? <laughs> what, what's your worst favorite? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. No damn sense. Shut up. Shut up. And I thought I was half awake. Still, my our number three least favorite. Mine, and you know, the hate just continues for this man. It, it does. My number three is Virgil. Because that's a cop out. <laughs> hate that man. <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's not a cop out. It's really not. It's, he's just. Terrible. Just terrible. All right, DJ, what's your number three on your least favorite? My least favorite is Virgil. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my <laughs> my <laughs> least favorite is Rick Martel. Well, third least favorite. Um, I, I always felt like, you know, Tito Santana, Tino Santana, always he always felt like the guy who kind of broke out of that team. And I felt like Rick Martel was just kind of there. <laughs> True. True. Amy, 
Least favorite number three. Jamie, are you singing? We get the concert you know? live. Yeah, oh. girl, good. Get it. Take it. Sing it. Get it. No, me. that's Inspector Gadget. You hear? Oh. Do, 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 do. Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. Okay. No, nobody. All right. Hey, Amy, your third <laughs> least favorite. Your third worst favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Early race. What? <laughs> okay, I can do that. Yeah. I've never been a Harley Race fan. Respect the man, but I just never been a fan. Ever. Nature boy. Mm -hmm. Look, I admit he's got talent and everything. I'm just never a fan. Oh, true. Sure. It's just okay. he never he never drew to me. Like I admit his talent and everything. I just just never a fan. So is it? Okay. Okay. Now over to the most favorite list again. Number two. <laughs> the what? The, the most. The idiot. I'm sorry. The best favorite. My bad. The best favorite. Uh, and I'm going to fall asleep again. <laughs> Number two for me is the best there is, the best there was, and the better than Shawn Michaels. I mean, best there ever will be. <laughs> He's the hitman. Oh. Oh, I took that. Controversy. I took that shot. I like, shot. It, I like I it, Casey. Yeah. You know what? Amy, what's mm. your two favorite? My number two? I'm Hilarious. Gonna... It's the Heart Foundation. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I told you I'm leaving certain wrestlers for the next era. Because I'm... But we can't... You know, the eras you chose, they've wrestled in all. Well, we can over that. We can. So, is we can do that. Oh no, that's not fair because if we can use Cheater! one air, that's cheating right there. Nah. Uh uh. All no. right. Well, mine's overlapping because I like them in both. Those can't overlap. DJ can only have two honorable mentions. You cannot overlap. Yeah. yeah. If I can't have show. three honorable mentions, this is my show. <laughs> that's what. That's why I chose the way I did because. Why not? It's stupid. Otherwise, I'd have like the same damn list for for half the damn. True. All of them. Speak. Preach. Like shit. Fine. <laughs> but no, the Heart Foundation. You can't go wrong with them. Gotta love that talent that came out of Stu Hart's dungeon. There's you've really no wrong heart to pick from, in my opinion. And I love what they did. It sucked how they got treated, but. They created some great controversy, which made, which was real. FYI, guys, go look it up. They created a lot of real controversy. Made for some great uh, shows, matches, and it was believable because it was real, and they gave it their all. But uh, unfortunately, one of them passed away. Two of them actually did. Smith Hart uh, was just recently, and unfortunately, Owen was. Was he 99? Yeah. 99, I want to say. Unfortunately, when he was a blue something or another. The heck was he? Blue. Uh, the blue blazer, baby. There you go. Oh, he came down and hit a turnbuckle with his neck. But, but I am not the Nuggets, and the Heart Foundation is number two. All right. All right. DJ, number two. I'm right. your most um, best favorite. My most best favorite. My number two. This should be no surprise if anyone actually knows who I am, and not 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 actually knows who I am, but like knows me as a wrestling fan. Um, my number two. Typhoon. Favorite. It's the it what? It's the typhoon. No, it's earthquake. You fool. I like <laughs> earthquake way more than typhoon. Uh, <laughs> Earthquake, baby. I don't know why I love this man, but I do. He got the earthquake, and he got the aftershock. Oh, man. He's so great. Um, I, lo I love him so much. Like I don't know what it is about this man that I love. But he's like one of my favorite wrestlers from the era. Like, every time he comes out, I'm like, this man is my favorite. Freaking, I even used him in the uh, most recent uh, WWE game because he was on there. I was playing online, and I was like, yeah, earthquake, let's go. <laughs> 
Moving over to our worst, least favorite. I'm going with it. I'm keeping it. Uh, my number two is uh, the immortal Hulk Hogan. Boo. You suck. Just, uh, That's a cop out. It's not. It's not. I really never liked Hulk Hogan. I honestly never liked That's a cop out. It's not. <laughs> your, your earthquake was a cop out. Oh, was a cop out. Shut up. <laughs> Number two on your worst least favorite. <laughs> it's not a Hogan. Um, my number two because he was a great heel and you can't help but hate him. The Iron Sheets, baby. Hmm. Plus he had them pointy old shoes, but chill. Um. <laughs> I, I love the Iron Sheik. I, I love the Iron Sheik as far as like a character is concerned, like in hindsight. But like as a heel man, he was so great. So I, I got to put him in there. That's kind of the, the least worst favorite of, of all time ever. No, a number two of all time. Ever. Amy, your least worst favorite number two. You know, I, number two just kind of had um, a theme on my – so it was the Von Erichs. Okay. <laughs> I, the I, I, like again, I don't hate. I I don't hate them. I just never took to them. I think they're talented and they did great. I just never took to them, so I really never liked them. It's kind of how that list is going for me, except for my number one. God, that's a, it's a pure. I never liked you. I thought you were overrated. I hate you. It the other be two. Hogan. The cop out. <laughs> I'm going with it. My argument is to it. <laughs> the Hogan hate is real. <laughs> That's like saying John T is my least favorite wrestler of all time. That's a cop out. <laughs> but he is. I have an original idea. Actually, he's not my least favorite of all time, but he's, he's up there. Uh, anyway, moving on. Here, so my number one most best favorite Best, most favorite number one of all time in the golden era. So, no, not of all time. But of all time in every era. Okay, I got it. Of all time between 1982 and 1993. Yeah. <laughs> the macho man, Randy Savage. Hell to the king, baby. I love this man. <laughs> Everything about Randy Savage, I love I loved him on commentary. I loved him in the ring. I loved his promos. I loved Slim Jims because of Randy Savage. You could have sold anything to me at that time with Randy Savage. I, I was going to say something, and I remember that Amy is a police officer, so I shouldn't say that if he put his, his face on, on the drugs. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Arrest this man, Amy. <laughs> Why not? Like, it's like ammonium and like Tylenol, that kind of drugs. You know, like the. I mean, you can still abuse Tylenol. And, anyway, Randy Savage, he was the greatest of all time in this era. But also of all time. But more specifically on this list in this era. But of all time. I get it. You get it. You get it. DJ, favorite. You know, my favorite. It's obviously got to be the immortal. Okay. Um, hail to the king, baby. I love this man. Love this Who? man. Love this man. Love this man. The macho man, baby. He even got man in his name. That's why I love this man. I mean, it's a fact. I mean, I, I love Macho Man, man. Like, I mean, you can't deny the talent this man got when he cutting a promo or he in the ring dropping an elbow or, or he talking about stuff you don't know what you're talking about. I, I still don't understand what he's saying, but dang on, he sold it, dang on it. He at least put some emphasis. You put some respect on his name, though. My boy, can to the king, the Macho Man. And plus, Mr. Elizabeth was like the, the greatest the greatest manager. I love that, man. Okay. 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 Amy, who's your favorite? 
Well, I can't impersonate him because I can't do that type of southern accent at all. But it'd be Dusty Rhodes. Is it Stone Cold? Oh, I thought it was Stone Cold Steve. That comes later, DJ. <laughs> Different era. <laughs> that would be stunning Steve Austin in this. The, Which was this good, point. by the way. He was good. Different accent, different. Oh, Casey did limit it to WWE. So, Casey, just curious. How are you going to do the 90s, man? <sighs> that was the Dumbass. whole era. Like, the, we can't just do the 90s of WWE and not include WCW or ECW. Yeah, you're kind of. Um, that's why we're going the golden era of WWF, the new generation in WWF, the Attitude Era in WWF, and the Ruthless Aggression Era in WWE. But the Attitude Era consists of more than just WWE, though. Yeah, that's a whole battle. The only reason the Attitude Era oh. actually occurred the way it did was because of the Monday Night Wars. But the Attitude Era wasn't in WCW. It was the Monday Night Wars, but it wasn't the Attitude Era in WCW. But people were jumping ship from WWE to WCW. Well, it was back all part forth. of the same era. Yeah, like Amy said, all part of the same era. Like, WCW was still there. But we're talking about the double-double F. The only a, company... You're that- a cop out, Casey. No, but my number one, Dusty Rhodes. Always loved him. I don't care for what WWE char- made his character, but that man made everything the best that he could, and you saw that with his heart and passion, and I love the Bionic go boat. So, Dusty, may he rest in peace. You know, my I just realized my list is always – it's coming back. It's coming back. It is. Got to have a dead guy or two. Oh, actually, three on this one. Oh, may they rest in peace. Still love him to death, Dusty Rhodes. He uh, paved the way for a lot of people in that business, and they just haven't yet to realize it. Uh, And then our worst, least favorite of all time in this era, and I don't care about, we'll do separate videos for WCW and TNA. We'll do that. Hey, there we go. So now we got more. I, I like that. That's a good idea. I was. I have it planned out. We got. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't have it planned out until we mentioned it. But I, I, exactly. I have the credit. I was thinking about doing one for the uh, asylum, uh, the asylum reviews, and the uh, impact zone. K quick. I'm going with K quick, baby. <laughs> Casey will never like my favorite top guy for TNA. Who's that? Are you kidding me? He's the only reason I watched that god awful production. Is it Shark Boy? Well, what's the... <laughs> Even my nephew, I got my nephew to start saying the phenomenal one. It's beautiful. No, I see. I like. I like. I wouldn't necessarily say it was a god awful promotion, by the way. Not... It depends on the time. Well, when I was, I watched it in and out. What? Like, I w- watched for a little bit. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I can't even. Not even just for AJ Styles, so I came back, came back. So some of the times when I came back, I'm like, oh, God, what the hell are they doing? Goodbye. I loved See, AJ I, I, I feel like that's a cop-out, too, because that's like me saying Fetty Wap's my favorite rapper because he got me back to, <laughs> to listening to rap music. Wait, Fetty Wap got you back in the yeah. rap music? You knew you did. He did. I don't know how. No, what it was, what was it? Was it track Check your priorities yeah. in life. If that is it, what was, was, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> what was it? Six, seven, eight. I can't remember what the name of the song was. Anyway, uh, at least worst favorite. Anyway, for me, I'm going to have to go with, with the Nasty Boys. I just hated them. I, I can't. I even avoided them at WrestleCon. I'm not even going to lie. I, <laughs> I do not enjoy them. I don't. It, no. Go away. Get away from me. I almost got rid of them cards in Supercard, but I needed them in my deck. So, anyway, y'all should play Supercard because it's cool. And DJ, that was directed towards you also. <laughs> anyway, what's your least favorite? I think anyone who knows me as a wrestling fan knows who my least favorite is. Earthquake. <laughs> it's not Earthquake. <laughs> um, 
I hate this man so much to this day. I don't want to see his face. I don't want him coming out in that stupid Elvis outfit with that stupid guitar. He freaking sucks. His Intercontinental Championship reign should be wiped from the books. I hate him so much. The honky tonk man. Ugh, I hate this man. He's terrible. He sucks. Ugh, I hate him so much. He's so bad. Did y'all know that he is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time? He's not the greatest. He's just like the longest reigning. Which means greatest because nobody has had it that long. So he's saying. That's not what that means. It, it is. It's what that means. So when the Miz is the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion, that's going to make him the greatest? Yes. I think. I, you know what, Casey? I agree with you, though. I, See, I, I got this. I got this, DJ. I would agree with that because he's good with the title. And I've always said that. He's good with the title. I just don't like the Miz. What's wrong with you? He, he may or may not be on a later list of mine. So anyway, Amy, least favorite. DJ already doesn't like my least favorite. He, he, he called me a cop out. <laughs> Come out! <laughs> it's Hulk Hogan. I've never liked Hulk Hogan. Never, ever, ever. Boo. Ever. What, what is it? Never. Ever. Overrated. Only came Boo. back to wrestling when uh, he needed money because alimony and shit. Where, where'd you go? Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. What, what happened to Amy? Amy. <laughs> that was weird. She's like in the middle of a sentence. Amy. Casey, did you did you meet her? I did. <laughs> I wanted to meet her because she, <laughs> she was like hugging. Hey, Amy. What? Oh, you muted. Got muted. Yes. What happened? You, you muted Good. yourself while you were talking in the middle of your sentence. <laughs> I actually am not. I was my camera was off and nothing was near it. Oh, well. So I don't know. Probably a glitch with Google. She hates Hogan that much. That's what it was. No, it, that, that's what it was. You used the cop out answer for your final answer, and Google Plus was like, "Nope, we can't have this." <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna. Oh, we can You know have who it. my least favorite super? You know who my least favorite superstar of the golden era is. Huh. Roman Reigns, cause he sucks. Man, <laughs> and that would be a cop out. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be a really bad series because DJ's gonna call all of our picks cop. <laughs> yep, I'm going to every time. <laughs> anyway. Mine are gonna be phenomenal, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, you know, they're show stopping phenomenal. You know, you know, he, you know. Yeah, but, buddy. That was the first episode in our series of the Double Double E road trip through the history time. I don't know. I was trying to go with something that we did with the with the WrestleMania and we went off in time. But it didn't. anyway, we're going to be back. I don't know when, but hopefully sometime soon for the new generation, 1993 to 1997. Of our least favorite, most best favorite wrestlers, superstars from that. I can't even say it right anymore. Least best. From the best. You know, you're right. You're right. But make sure to follow us on Twitter at ICW underscore podcast. Follow DD underscore Amy underscore Miley. And if you don't know how to spell that, it's M Y L I E. And go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a petition to get Noam Dar and the beautiful Alicia Fox. Back to oh, Y'all should go sign it. I'm going uh, to put it on the Twitter. You know, make sure you go sign it. Um, but we will be back for that. We got NXT coming up. We both just got to finish. It. And then we'll get it up. And then uh, TNA tomorrow. Impact, GFW. NWA, uh, uh, Owl Championship Wrestling tomorrow. Yeah, 
Uh, and I think Amy's gonna watch it because she loves TNA. She does. She thinks it's great. She thinks it's the best promotion of all time. Uh, especially that AJ Styles is out of it now. He she thinks it's so much better now without the phenomenal AJ Styles, right, right Amy? Um, <clears throat> no. He says yes. I don't agree with Casey. He gives me sometimes, like barely three times a year. But anyway, we will see you on the flippity dippity. I got a text message. Nope, that's just my phone telling me my phone is charged. <laughs> <laughs> it does that. It's like you are sufficiently charged, and I'm like, yay! We will see you on the flippity dippity. Peace. Bye. Bye, bitches. That's how I'm going to start and end videos now. <laughs>